In the previous exciting episode of Scott Brown Carpentry, we tackled the outside of the living and kitchen area. And now, after a quick break where we traveled around the South Island, we are back and we are excited. Hi, Ray. We're back. Hey. We're back. <laughs> so, in today's episode, we need to do a job that will get us one step closer to having this big room ready for inspection. We need to pull this wall down. It's part of completing this room, but it's one of the steps that I've, I'm not really looking forward to. Only because it's kind of boring, right? Just pulling a wall down, reframing a ceiling, but it has to be done before we do the fun part, which is the kitchen. Because all of this is under a building consent, we need to get all these walls inspected and the ceiling and, and that's part of it. So Raymond. Yo. So this wall, is supporting the ceiling, but we want to keep the ceiling there so it doesn't fall down when we pull the wall out. So let's do it as efficiently as we can. So, I want to do the kitchen. You want me to do the kitchen? You can only watch so many videos of me knocking a wall down and reframing a ceiling, but unfortunately, we have to do it. It's just a part of this renovation. I'm gonna to have to do something about this garage, certainly before I start building cabinets, but this has to wait. Lights, lights, lights. Here we go. So there's the big beam that we put in. And the ceiling runs in that direction and is anchored off this big beam. It's probably better illustrated on the plans. They're running from this wall to the beam, but that span in the middle needs to be sorted out. The way they've sorted this out previously is they've put a 6x2, a rough sawn 6x2 called a strong back across the ceiling joist and they rest one end on a wall and the other end on a wall. It's resting on the wall that we need to take out. So we need to support the strong back and we need to support these roof struts as well. There's really just so much going on Raymond. Yeah. Roof strut, roof strut. We got the rich beam here that's supported on two ends. In this hallway, they've actually changed the direction of the ceiling joist. Rather than going from wall to beam, like that big room, they're going side to side. That means we need to reframe the ceiling completely so it does the same thing that the living room ceiling is doing wall to beam. People ask me if I'm going to keep the wooden panelling in the hallway. <laughs> I think the answer is no. It's not wood panelling, it's fake. So we'll turn this wall into as much of a skeleton as we can, get rid of the cables, and then figure out how to sort the ceiling. I'm not a very work conducive environment, so I'm, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> Bye, dude. Hold on. You're not gonna use this, are you? What? I feel very self conscious. It's all about overcoming obstacles. Give it a good push at the top. Bit tight on the sauce. Woo! Yeah. Easy as that. Skadoosh. <laughs> so, for the record, I do like the idea of a timber feature wall, but I just wish that this one was done in real timber, because then you, if it looked a bit tired, you could sand it, make it look nice again. But this stuff here, single use only. So I've set my track saw to seven mil thick. I'm gonna cut a little section off it. Off! Good news. The good news is we are going to be able to we're going to be able to leave the ceiling in place and still 
pull the wall out. Let me show you what I mean. The secret is this beam. Oh, hi, Ray. Morning. Morning. Morena. Good guess. Five, four, 50. A little known fact about Raymond here. He knows the measurements of his entire body. That sounds weird. Uh, like, if you don't have a tape measure on you, it's just handy to know certain references, right? Yes. So I know that from the tip of my finger to my elbow, it's, it's about 500, so I can... And then I've got 200 here, and a half a hand is 100. And then, like, a, a, a foot would be 30 centimeters. So you can sort of work your way through. We'll, we'll be looking at a wall that we need to knock down or something and he'll start looking like a mime. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to measure it. Play some electro music. We play some... <laughs> <laughs> you have any luck with the bits and bobs? Ah, uh, the... Uh, what about uh, the metal connectors and stuff? you find anything like that? Yeah, I'll go back. I just Have wanted fun. to keep you going. Thank you, Ray. Yeah, I, I can yeah. spend hours in your room. <laughs> I was trying to get rid of Ray there because I've got a surprise for him. Check this out. So when Ray and I were framing the front door um, above that concrete entryway, he dropped his Milwaukee framing gun onto the concrete and it bent and, and broke. The tip and everything bent, the, the nozzle part even snapped in half, which was kind of crazy. Anyway, reached out to Milwaukee, New Zealand. And they kindly sent him a new one. But he doesn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> Look at crazy lady. Saving my seeds for the next season. What kind of seeds are they? These ones are zinnias. I'm trying to save all my flower seeds, my veggie seeds. I've actually just let everything go to seed. And a bunch of things like coriander have just sprouted up all over the garden, which is awesome. I think it says a lot about this area. I mean, it's May and I'm still getting flowers. Veggies are still growing. It's awesome. Everything grows here. I got these out of the garden today. It's May. Still I'm not growing. complaining. What do you got there, eh? I got the magic bucket. <laughs> so I guess every builder should have a magic bucket. Is that what you're saying? Every leftover bracket and cleat goes in the magic bucket, doesn't it? Oh my god. What do you want, Gelf or stainless? <laughs> By the way, Ray. It's yours. F*** off. <laughs> it's all yours, mate. What? Cour courtesy of Milwaukee, New Zealand. No way. Not me. <laughs> I just like to say I was the one who sent the email. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yours. <laughs> Cheers, Milwaukee. And, and, and Scott and Jess, of course. Yeah, of course, yeah. of course. Wow. Enjoy, enjoy. Back to the beam. Good news, we can remove this strut here. Turns out this was the only rafter that had a supporting strut in the middle. And now with the new big beam at the bottom, it wasn't necessary. Which means we only need to replace one strut. So we want to prop all the way down to the floor here and then the roof is supported and our way is cleared for the beam yeah. how much more have we got uh, another 50 oh i think we'll just get it yeah nice there you go now we can prop this up all right i'm ready it's probably just a bit more than 50 i'd say 60. ah Go, yeah. Yeah, we'll put the bigger chamfer on this side, like that. Yep. Okay. okay. All right, we're contacted. Yeah. Yep. Okay, that's it. When I um, first started building in 2004, I was 17 years old and as a typical 17 year old, my attitude probably wasn't the best 
and I, I didn't really like building I hated it actually but when I started kind of understanding the bigger picture then I started to enjoy it what I mean by that is I was made to do a lot of crappy jobs in my first year you know all the cleaning I had to seal up all these fire cupboards with sealant so I just spent weeks you know sealing fire cupboards just a lot of crappy jobs but then about a year into it I was able to do some of the better jobs and also understand how the crappy jobs I was doing fit into the bigger picture of the whole project karate kid yeah huh? like karate kid wax on wax off <laughs> <laughs> when you started building did you get made to do a lot of crappy jobs nah I went straight into management <laughs> <laughs> um, it's kind of similar with this project here like yes we're back up in the ceiling we're putting another beam in a little bit exhausting but a little bit repetitive but this is part of it in order to get a framing inspection of this whole area we need to get that done and then once the framing inspection is done then we can put insulation in that whole room and then we can get the insulation signed off in a pre-line inspection my point is we have to do all these framing elements in this entire room before we proceed to the next step when you have that big picture in mind all this makes more sense and is a bit more tolerable a few moments later We've got the beam in and this end of the beam is supported by the wall oh my god and then this end is supported by the big beam and now the roof is beautifully propped onto the part of the beam that sits on the wall the ceiling here is suspended using these brackets like this suspended onto the beam so all of this ceiling we didn't have to touch we just had to attach it to there and then this big ceiling runners remember those big six by twos that go all the way they are bolted to the back so all of that is a long way of saying we can take the wall out now oh my god Ooh. We did it, right? That was a cool two days. Yeah. You know what they say, sweeter after difficulty. I've never heard that. Is that a like, Scott Brown family saying? I actually got it off a Sandra Bullock movie. Yeah? Yep. <laughs>